Do you know RSI staying above 70 alone does not confirm that market is overbought and then there will be a fall Similarly RSI below 30 does not confirm that markets are oversold and now is the time to go up There are many ways to identify the momentum reversal paradigm Hi friends welcome back Do you know how awesome it is to be technically sound in the markets Let's begin this weekend with one of everyone's favorite and a fairly easy indicator. Yes, you guessed it right. RSI. The Relative Strength Index or RSI is an oscillating indicator that is designed to measure stocks or markets momentum, which is both speed and size of price changes. Naively, if we think of a speedometer, we think speed, right? but speed in turn provides us two more valuable things distance covered at any instant simply if we keep track of time although it is simple yet it is a very powerful thought many traders use rsi as an indicator to help them identify if the markets are overbought or oversold using this information along with other tools could help them determine potential entry and exit trading signals in this video we will learn how rsi is calculated what's the momentum when it is potentially giving signals to buy or sell to calculate rsi let's first calculate rs that is relative strength firstly let's identify the period for which you want to calculate rsi as default and for many more reasons 14 period is used as a default period in most of the softwares. So let's understand the calculation of RSI for 14 period. Here period could be 1 month, 1 week, 1 day, 15 minutes or as small as 1 minute. For our understanding, let's take this to be daily time frame. So, we will be using 14 days time frame for Nifty to learn how it is calculated. On the screen I have taken last 14 nifty closing levels. Now we will take average of gains in last 14 days and divide it by average of losses in last 14 days. We will ignore negative signs as we are talking in relative terms. This calculation is called relative strength. Let's calculate this for below nifty data. So here Average gains for last 14 days is 101.99 and average losses 43.15. So RS is calculated by dividing average gains by average losses. This comes to 2.36. Now, once we have RS, we can calculate RSI using the formula below. In our case it will be 100 minus 100 over 1.236 this comes to 70.24 So in our case RSI is 70.24 Always remember that this number can be anywhere between 0 and 100 Now plotting this on a line helps investors and traders to identify momentum in relative terms which means that looking at the indicator's current value in relation to past values will show the momentum this comparison may make it easier to identify when markets might reverse from its prevailing trend to identify potential trend changes there are two ranges of the indicator to keep in mind overbought or oversold So overbought refers to the market has increased rapidly in a short period of time and may reverse lower. On the contrary, oversold refers that market has decreased sharply in a short period of time and may reverse higher. Now that you know how to calculate RSI and how to measure the momentum, let's look at how investors might use this indicator to identify potential trading signals. Some traders take RSI value below 30 as oversold. So when RSI crossed back above 30, it generates a buy signal for them. Exit signals work in the same way, except traders use overbought values. Technically, traders view an RSI value above 70 as overbought. 
So when RSI crosses back below 70, they typically see as uh, see it as a potential exit signal. Now, as you know, why technical traders use this as buy sell signal. Let's discuss how the indicator can be used to spot potential trend reversals. So, a uh, trend reversal may be confirmed by the RSI when it shows a divergence. What is divergence? <laughs> divergence simply is when the price of an asset is moving in the opposite direction of RSI. For example, bullish divergence occurs when a stock moves lower, but RSI makes higher lows. This means the downward momentum is fading and a bullish reversal may follow. After identifying a bullish divergence, an investor might use a cross back above 30 as an entry signal. Simply, a bearish divergence occurs when a stock shows higher highs, but RSI shows lower highs. This is a sign that upward momentum is slowing and a bearish reversal may occur. After spotting a bearish divergence, a trader might use a cross back below 70 as an exit signal. Hmm, using RSI to spot divergences and identify potential oversold and overbought conditions can help traders to find potential trading signals. However, this is not a sure shot. There are few risks attached to it as well. It is not always accurate as it cannot incorporate events that influence a stock's price, such as earnings, economic news, and many other fundamental aspects. Additionally, RSI can remain overbought or oversold for a long period of time. So when divergence suggests that markets can move in a certain direction, but, but there is no guarantee. Reading RSI also requires subjectivity that benefits from hindsight. For this reason, RSI is usually used with other forms of confirmation such as volume and overall trends in the market. I know it's not perfect, but I incorporate this indicator into my trading as it gives me insights and context that could be really helpful. Now let's analyze current Nifty daily chart. Look at 7th September when Nifty created a new high of 17,436.5. That time RSI was at 82.66. Now when on 15th September it breached uh, earlier highs, RSI was close to 85.7 levels. Again, on 17th of September, Nifty created a new high of 17,792.95. This time, the RSI was again at 81.1. That was lower than of 15th September highs. And now when on 24th of September, Nifty created a new high of 17,947.65 with RSI being close to 77.89. You can easily see the divergence here. Also, I would like to highlight that trend lines work very effectively on the RSI line. The breaking of the RSI trade trend lines gives timely buys and sell signals. On our chart, we can see that currently RSI has broken the trend lines as well. So this was my take on RSI. I hope this helps. Hmm. So... Dear people, please share if, if not subscribe. It will help our motto of reaching out to more individuals and spread the hard-earned knowledge. We want to come up with such videos every week and we desperately need motivation to continue our journey. Many thanks for the support. And yes, do comment if you think we are missing on something very important. As usual, thanks and happy learning.